Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this abstract looking coral. This will be a two part series, in the first part I'm going to show you how to make the shape itself and in the second part we're going to take a look at texturing, lighting and general rendering but primarily looking at redshift material blenders to make a really cool texture. So let's go! So as you can see here, I just have some cylinders stacked on top of each other just to create a kind of quick abstract shape of this coral that we're going to make. And what we're going to do then is quickly select our cylinders and not do this. We're going to select them, drop them into a volume blender. And then once we have our volume blender sorted out, what we need to do is drop down our voxel size and make that about three so that it doesn't destroy my machine. Then if we press shift C and we search for a random field, we can then drop that random field into the volume builder. Now right now it's, it's a wee bit too small. So we've got to go in here, click on random field and just scale this up um, so that it, it encapsulates the shape. So we're going to keep scaling, 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 just eyeballing this really. I'm not, I'm not being too precious. Scale, 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 and I think that's probably fine. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's a bit, there's a bit poking out, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter that much. Then what we want to do is set this to subtract, and now we're kind of seeing this really weird looking shape. Um, we see the nice textures being subtracted from the the rest of the cylinders. Um, so let's take a look at how we're driving this. So we're driving this subtraction with noises, um, but they're random noises. So I think what would probably be better is if we used, instead of it being a random field in the field type, we should probably look at using a shader so that we have more fine control on some of these pockets. Um, so let's do that, go to shader field and in shader field we've got to pick a noise type and now we can, we're still driving it with noise but it's just do, doing it this way it gives us a lot more control of the noise itself. So we can really go in and crank up the global scale and the more we do this the smoother it gets but that's already creating some really cool looking shapes in our geometry already. Um, and I understand this is quite low res once we bump up or uh, reduce the voxel size, this will look a lot sharper. Let's add a secondary shader field on top of this, set this to subtract as well. Um, bump this up a wee bit. Can't really see it making much of a difference right now. Let's have a look. Yeah, so it's definitely working. Let's bump these up to 200, 200, 200. Is that doing anything? I can't really tell. Let's come in here and mess with the scales. Yeah, okay, it's doing something. So we gotta just play around with some of our contrast and our, our scale levels here. Right, cool. Let's drop this down so it's not as extreme. Maybe too much bring back some of that brightness and maybe this is just taking a wee, a wee bit of time to update on my machine so just bear with my machine let's make this bigger let's try 500 by 500 by 500 and is it doing anything come on you can do it let's make some dark parts darker by bumping the contrast ah there we go yeah it's just taking a while for my machine to update but now we can kind of see some of those added little subtractions that are happening so that's being driven by the secondary shader so we can probably make these um bigger yeah cool let's make the image or the noise have a little bit less contrast so there's less of a steep subtraction um, 
um, add a smooth here let's bring that down because we don't want it to be too smooth we still want it to have be like a, a little bit jaggy yeah looking cool let's bring our voxel size down to one and my machine might scream for a little bit just give it a second and cool now we see that our geometry is a lot more high res and it's kind of got this swiss cheese looking vibe but i think it looks cool i think it looks really cool i think what we could do is we could add even more detail by uh using some displacements so let's do that now we just need to drop this into a volume measure we can have a look at you know our polygons at the minute it's fairly dense not too dense but dense enough so let's make this editable and usually you should probably save copies and stuff but I'm just flying through I'm not being too precious so make sure you're, you're backing up stuff or you're backing up your live file so you can come back and edit at a later point but right now I'm I'm happy enough with this right so an issue that will happen is that you know the topology here looks really bad um, and if we want to do stuff with displacements and we want to do stuff but maybe we want to do you know some soft body dynamics or, or or stuff like that we really need to remesh this so just drop your object into a remesher i think the standard settings should be fine for this right now and there we go yeah looks a lot cleaner this will help us when we're doing any form of displacement um yeah i'm really happy with how this looks this looks really cool right so what we should definitely do now is add a displacer to this just to give it that final five percent that could make it look you know even more organic so let's do that right now so let's just make this editable let's drop a displacer underneath the remesh so there we go and then again we're going to use a noise to affect the geometry again so we've got three layers of noise so essentially it's nice do, does, does the bulk of the work here and again you can scale the global scale up you can do some really cool shit with nice some really cool stuff um but you know this is just taste so essentially we're just kind of moving values here until we get something that we're happy with um so we kind of don't want it to look too extreme we just want a little bit of that extra kind of texture to play with you can get some really crazy stuff yeah it looks cool yeah so we really need something like this you know really kind of dialed back let's drop this down a bit so we have a bit more detail let's just drop it to 50 and yeah that's probably good for me this thing looks like it's been in the sea it's been kind of eroded it's you know being knocked about yeah i'm happy with that that looks pretty cool so that's the end of part one in the next video i'll show you how we can do some really cool procedural textures and yeah light this bad boy up see you in the next one bye bye